Yeah, well, we've got an update today on the Bastion Cycle Palava with the handlebar braking on the Australian Olympic team. And we've also got some general cycling stuff about winter clothes and winter gear. So let's try the intro and let's get into it. Well, just got an update to the broken handlebar with the Australian Olympic team with the rear riders handlebar braking in the face planning the deck and Bastion Cycles has confirmed that that handlebar was manufactured by by them and they just basically only gave the information that they're looking into it they don't know what caused it and there will be an investigation so we still don't know what material it was made out of if it was made out of carbon if it was made out of titanium of it was made out of a combination of those materials and we don't know why it's failed so all of the rumors going around that it was carbon or it was titanium or you shouldn't use this material for that application or it was over torqued at this point in time bastion cycles are not denying or confirming such information so at the moment we really haven't got a lot of update the only update we've got is the actual handlebar was made by bastion cycles from melbourne Well, just here at uh, Claysbrook here in WA, it's a beautiful day. There's hardly any wind, which is really unusual for Perth. And uh, it's such a nice day. I thought I'd just stop and have a little bit of a snack and get myself a soy latte uh, with two sugars, because uh, that's uh, the way I have it. And it's just absolutely fantastic, actually. Here's the lady right now. Just give Sorry. me. Sorry, that one um, doesn't have any sugar yet, so just here. Thank you. So I'm just going to put my own sugar in, so that's fine. And um, there it is, soy latte. Well, it's been pretty cold here in Perth at the moment, and uh, it was three degrees this morning, and I know for some of the people in the Northern Hemisphere that's not cold, but here in Australia that's pretty cold, and uh, we find that uh, pretty difficult to live with. So I've just got a few things that I use when I'm in the cold, and one of those things is like a buff, and these things are really excellent. You can actually use them in the summer and also the winter. And what is basically just a long tube and you wear it over your head. So what you do with this thing is you basically roll it up into a tube and then you put it over your head like this. So, it's, uh, so you don't have to have your top so tight, so it keeps your neck warm. And what you can also do is you can also use it to keep your head warm by Putting the back, pulling the back up here over your head, and you can actually pull this up over your face. So they're very handy to keep your head warm. Great little thing, they don't cost that much. And what you can do in the summer is you can actually dip them in water. And then when you're running along, the wind with the evaporation causes a cooling effect due to evaporation, and it keeps you cool around your neck. So pretty handy little tool to either keep you warm or keep you cool in the summer. The other thing I have here that I like to use in winter is a gilet. 
And the, the beauty of a gilet is it can keep the wind off your chest, but when you buy the gilet, you need to make sure that you test it by seeing if you can breathe through it. So put it up to your mouth and see if you can breathe through it. If you can breathe through it, it's not gonna do much. The wind will just go straight through it. But you need one that's windproof that you can't breathe through. So when, if you're looking at one of these, then that's how you test them. You put it up to your mouth and you just make sure you can't breathe through it. Therefore, it's windproof. Now, this one here is a Centini one and it's quite expensive, but uh, so they're not cheap to get the good ones. 